Okay, good morning, my dear friends. Uh, today we are going to start a case of a uh, left T plasty. Left T plasty. And the patient presents with history of uh, hearing loss. She's got a 32 de decibel hearing loss. And uh, on examination, there is a central perforation. And uh, we are going to show you a technique of closure of this uh, central perforation. It's microscopic. Of course, we can do it endoscopic as well. But we in our center follow the microscopic technique only. So I'm going to wash up. I'm going to start this case. It's a simple case, but definitely useful for postgraduates. So I'll wash up and I'll be back. Okay, so we're going to start this case. I am doing it under local anesthesia. And the solution which we use is 10 10 10 solution. That is 10 ml of plain xylocaine 2%, 10 ml of distilled water so that it makes it 1%, and then 10 drops of adrenaline. 10 drops of adrenaline. This solution I learned from Professor Mahadevya, sir. And I'm still following the same. Okay, so I'm going to start my infiltration. I will show you from the uh, beginning all the steps. So this patient had discharged two days back. If the patient has discharged within three months, we open up the mastoid. So that is the, uh, of course, there's a lot of controversy. Don't open, open. Here is a big mystery. So I'm now going to start. This is the block given for the greater auricular nerve. This is the lesser occipital nerve. See how I'm going up. So always withdraw and see before you infiltrate. So we do all our cases under local anesthesia only. We hardly give GA if it is an adult. Pediatric, of course, we do it under general anesthesia. The next is for the periosteum. So this is for the periosteum. See, all these injections are also protocolized by us. All the residents do the same thing. So the, this is for the periosteum. You can see that I'm uh, infiltrating for the periosteum. Yeah, right. Now I'm going to uh, give the superficial four quadrant infiltration. Right. Okay. Now see here, that's a, um, four quadrant infiltration being given. You should rise up bleb. You should rise up bleb. And here, Shambo gives an infiltration uh, here and here. I generally don't do that. I give it here. Okay, right. Now give me a, uh, so I'm going to give a deep quadrant infiltration. In that, I use a slotted speculum. Uh, basically, people do also endoscopic, uh, not an issue. You can do endoscopic, microscopic. It is not the tool, it is the result which counts. 
and uh, you see here i go lateral to the isthmus and i start infiltrating and what is the end point of this infiltration many people ask me what is the end point of this infiltration end point is the solution should flow out through the perforation you can see that the bubble coming out to the perforation now that means the flap has been elevated by the water the something like a hydro dissection has been done so move the uh, yeah what is the use of the slot why do you have the slot because that is uh, useful when you put in a syringe ah, see here now you can you can direct it like this the syringe can go here i can press it like this and then i can do it so that is the usefulness of this slot but you see that you know you don't waste that infiltration solution it should not come outside all should go inside only i'm done with my infiltration so i have to wait for at least 30 seconds okay just for the local to act some people do this also see here they do this this is called the massage they do this massage for it to percolate so that is nice i have clearly infiltrated and now is it is the picture clear quality anybody uh, seeing on the zoom can comment okay now you see this is the left ear so your ring finger should be on the mastoid so this is all protocol use the groove see that so that your uh, scar will not be seen that's the auricularis posterior muscle i'm cutting that muscle see that it's a broad muscle and then what i do is slightly go see that's the root of attachment of the helix draw a line slightly go behind it slightly just around half a centimeter this will be hidden by the hair line so that is the first step so there are 10 steps to graft taking the second step is use the artery forceps directed downwards so this is the second step third step is use a three prong retractor see that this is a three prong retractor being used step 4 is artery forceps directed upwards and go inside ah. step 5 is use of unipolar diathermy see that now i'm just cutting off the soft tissue above it so once i do that you can see the graft layer already then step 6 is reapplication of retractor reapplication of three prong retractor step 7 application of two prong retractor then step 8 teasing of the false fascia see here that's the fault you lift it up tease the false fascia you can see that there's fat here anteriorly there's fat so generally don't go anteriorly if you want a thin graft i always prefer a thin graft forceps because thin grafts are better malleable they can be see that's a false fascia you can see any vertical fiber is the false fascia any transverse fiber is the true fascia you understand see how nicely we are able to take off the false fascia shiva can you see or not now your exposure should be very good still there is a lot of false fascia fibers give me gauze piece now if you press it you will see better you see i'm pressing it and you will see the false fascia better see that can you see vertical fibers here 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 see see i don't want the vertical see some people use uh, they take it out and uh, start scrubbing it on that uh, this one on the bowl that means they have not taken the fascia properly this is my 
in the sense like you should take it off during the surgery itself why in vitro in vivo itself you can do this dissection now it's perfect you can see the fibers fibers span like this see here fibers span like this now give a hydro dissection infiltration you see how it's nicely lifting away from the muscle and then give two cuts see here this cut along the fiber here if you give the cut and this is the cut here along this fiber can you see clearly now this always take a big graft whether it is a small perforation big perforation don't bother because you might have tympanum sclerosis you might have to remove that and that can lead to a bigger perforation right so don't this is across across the fascia and for that use your left in uh, index finger okay now having done that this step yesterday you did very well shiva i like your graft taking very nicely you took only problem was in metaplasty sorry metatomy okay i might today teach about metaplasty what are the various kinds of metaplasty that is in the other case okay now this is the graft what are the ideal qualities of a graft graft should be uniform it should be thin it should be uniform it should be large and you should not have fat okay you see i didn't do anything i just kept it there and you see what is the kind of graft looks beautiful okay now this is the graft this is the end of segment 1 then go for segment 2 segment 2 is very simple now it starts with pulling the pinna downwards and laterally downwards forwards down downwards and forwards and then use the diathermy see here in this you made a mistake yesterday right uh, see again i am teaching you how to do that so see here this fiber no you should take off this fiber along the muscle you understand then what happens is that you palpate here okay and make the see that you will find that posterior auricular artery make it just behind it okay and then what you do you you curve this incision anteriorly and here you use your left thumb okay see when i use my left thumb i knew where i am see that's a fat i always say you what you did you breached that fat which is wrong see that's a fat here that is why you had that complication that is bleeding bleeding is a complication unnecessarily no see 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 the henley spine see my left and right hand boss see it should look like a russian ballet not like a kutu dance see how nicely we are able to go you should always go till 12 o'clock see the fat underneath and then make this incision if you want to do a cortical mastoidectomy you understand finished see how simple it is see ear surgery should be made simple not complicated so straight forward surgery see here now i am elevating the flap if i want to obliterate i'll do a slightly different kind of flap you understand now you put this three ma pudi ma seri assess panna matengira dada koopana ma ah pinadi paatha assess pannada enakku i don't like that hmm. give me a uh, cautery cautery see there's a small vessel here you see here see a small vessel here i just cauterized it okay then how do you do the metatomy some some people use the corners flap i don't do the corners flap and elevator so gently i elevate here gently very gently and this step again yesterday you were not good that's a tympano mastoid suture line always tympano mastoid suture line there will be fibrous additions please understand there will be fibrous addition so there's a chance that you can tear see see the suture line there can you see or not 
and always you should make the incision for the metotomy in the left ear at the four o'clock position. See here, I make it at the four o'clock position. This is the thinnest part of the canal. See here, I make it here. And don't make it harsh. Just score, 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 score. See, now you got that water out. And then extend it downwards first. Because that's the part which is down. Okay. Then what you do, see here. Now you put your suction inside. Okay. Now you don't want all this thick flap. Because elevation will become difficult. You see how much depth you have the annulus. And you can go right down. Get my point? Ah. Don't see. Now that's the tympano squamous suture line. See here. It's how prominent this tympano squamous suture line is. Can you see the prominence? So, you should always, when there is a prominent tympano squamous suture line, see another wrong point you did was you didn't go towards the 6 o'clock position. Same way you should go towards the 11 o'clock position. See here. Now, this is the cut. You understand? Now, you put the you put the ribbon gauze. See, there is no investigation in the world which can say whether the mastoid antrum is patent or not. I don't think there is any investigation. So, only thing is, it's clear was like that. You can predict, but you cannot say. So, we, it's better if it is, there is a discharge to create a buffer because the station tube can be bypassed. Now, you see the perforation very clearly. Now, There is a little tympanosclerosis. Hey, T-set, T-set. T-set, come on. Where is the T-set? Okay. You can see the perforation very clearly there. Ma, put it, ma. Hey, you put it, pinna di patha as punna, vela gya hozu, ma. Pinna di patha as punna, ma, yana ke. Okay. I am just going to open up the mastoid antrum just to see whether there is drainage. So, the, this is the, the segment 3. Segment 2 is exposure. I have done my exposure. Segment 3 is just 2 minutes. I will just open up the mastoid. This is not a cortical. This is just an antrotomy. Just to make sure that see, it's a sclerosis mastoid. Can you see? So, I open the irrigate, 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 panda. So, I am just opening up the antrum to see if there is drainage. So, this is what I am doing. It is not a cartical. It is just a... See, see the impulse. Uh, pour, pour the water here. See here. See, when I do this, I know that there is drainage already. I have still not opened the antrum. So, this way what happens is you are very sure that you have created a buffer for the eustachian tube. Do not enter into the argument of doing, not doing. People will keep telling something. Mirko says no need. Okay, let them follow whatever they want. You do what is the classical teaching. That's it. At least my students. Uh, fine. I just created a buffer there. Finished. That's all. Open. I don't open all the cells. You don't need to. Uh, give me a good wash. Now comes the, this is the segment 3. Then go to segment 4. Nicely give a wash. All the bone dust should go off. Hey, nama. Bone dust should go off. Now check for drainage. Ah, give. Drainage. So there are two things you have to do in this perforation. Number one. 
ஆ கொடு 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 நம்பர் ஒன் இஸ் த டெம்பரோ ஸ்கா சின்னது கொடு கூடாதுரா பெருசு கொடுரா ட்ரெயினை செக் பண்ணும்போது யூ சாண்டி எப்பவுமே பெரிய டிப் தான் கொடுக்கணும் சின்னது கொடுக்கூடாது எவர் தெரியுதா ட்ரைனேஜ் தெரியுதா சி தட் கிளியர்லி சீன் டோன்ட் டேமேஜ் த மியூகோஸ் ஆஃப் த மேஸ்டாய்ட் தென் லீட் டு ஃபைப்ரோசஸ் அண்ட் க்ளோஸ் வாட் எவர் யூ ஆர் ஓப்பனிங் இட் ஃபார் இட் வில் ஃபெயில் நவ் கம்ஸ் த ஸ்டேஜ் ஃபோர் சி த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் திங் இஸ் ரிமூவ் த ஸ்பைன் ஆஃப் ஹென்லி திஸ் இஸ் கெனால் பிளாஸ்டிக் ஸோ யூ ஆர் கிரியேட்டிங் அ வைடர் கெனால் நவ் this is first okay then if you have any of the sutures which is prominent you have to remove that suture that is now give me a diamond burr now the temporosquamous suture line is very prominent here so i'm going to remove the temporosquamous suture line so that is my next step ma om pakandar piko okay right t set ready ah okay right diamond ah Now see here, I am going to remove this. Hey! Ma, if you want to take care of this, you will have to take care of this. 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 Now, what is the first step? Now, that is the tip. No? Always, whenever there are suture lines which are prominent, try to yeah that's all finish now i want to just just go towards the auditus here without disturbing the mucosa of the antrum that's nice now now i'm fine there's a small scratch alone here there's a small scratch that's maybe because of the suction tip okay fine now i am seeing the perforation clearly you are able to see a little meningitis also give me a good wash give me a good wash i am going to show you some beautiful tricks here you are able to see a little temporal sclerosis antero antero superiorly can you see that yes or no so i will show you how to remove it this is janakram's technique again i have not seen anybody doing this now you see here this is the temporal sclerotic patch see where is the temporal sclerotic patch ma chinnadu kudu below the epithelium right chinnadu kudu radha asking nokku nokke aichu ah ah now give me the hockey now i'm going to start my see you should always look for the lap length this is the lap length here is the lap length if the lap length is more than 3 mm then you can go away with the 270 elevation get my point now what i am trying to do is that's the temporal sclerosis see temporal sclerosis is one enemy for closure of a perforation so you take a nice margin here i don't want that rolled up margin at all so i'm just taking off that is it clearly visible i think this is the first time we have started demonstrating our ear cases also all this while i didn't ah now give me a scissors now scissors now i'm just going to cut this
scissors wet amma okay now give me the this one hockey now cut off the uh, posterior part now i'm going superiorly actually i like to use the scissors to cut all around this might scissors oh you now you see i'm using the scissors so you whatever little meringite is there you take that also out see that now see you have to take it like a signet ring See one whole ring I have taken it out. I want to show you that. Oh. Give that uh, this one. Give that uh, hockey. See this. This was taken as a one full ring. Uh, it's attached. Anyway take it down now one full ring was taken out now i'm going to show you how i remove the tympanosclerosis so give me the t set i make what is called the t set and uh, you can see here now see it is sub epithelial right uh, give me here the t set okay now you see here i go underneath my daughter perisir kumbara We shall see this man. Can you see? See that I'm going sub epithelially and elevating the the temporosclerosis. You can see that now. See, the idea is to not to make this perforation bigger, so that I can just retain at least just the hey the ball probe ma. Adiye kude, kudte kude. No, no, no. This is too blunt, man. This is too blunt. See what I'm doing. Can you see? What happens when I do this is that I don't create it into a bigger operation. See, people just take that like that, and what happens is it becomes a near total perforation see what has happened i have retained the shape of that perforation at the same time hey, it is blunt man so i have a t set called various lengths of this sharp dissector yeah and then i go sub epithelial can you see that c c c c I don't know if I've seen this in the world. I don't know. I just thought, why not? Because it is sub epithelial in the fibrous layer. And I've been doing this for years now. Hmm. Now, I'll give you the suction. See, the suction, if you apply there, no, it will tear because it's so thin. The epithelium is so thin. Now, I'm going to show you that patch which I've removed, you can see here now.
see if you don't remove the ts patch no definite failure some say if it's attached the handle of malleus you remove nothing like that you have to remove everything i'll show you that's the handle of malleus give me a scissors now see can you see the ts patch all of you all of you see how beautifully you removed it but still i have retained the epithelial layer only thing is don't put suction over it you will give me the t set again see that now can you see beautiful no now give me a crocodile can you see this is from underneath see how beautiful it is now can you see i have maintained the perforation at the same time i have removed the temporal sclerosis okay now let me go in for the so you can do whatever uh, kind of uh, you know uh, inlay or interlay i'll show you uh, give me a knife so you can see here i'm going to make that incision here and then i'm going to make that incision here see see my incisions very very important this incision for this incision only i took off that ma ac romba jaastiya irukku kullurudu ac enak direct adikidu chinna small small suction tip now you see i'm elevating suppose i want to do a interlay variety what is the difference between interlay and inlay in interlay what happens is that you put it between the fibrous layer and the mucus layer right so that you don't have uh, you know the mucus uh, outgrowing so that's an advantage i'll show you both varieties it's not any not difficult at all it's very easy everything is like in here is easy see like dosa you are elevate like the indian pancake is the picture quality clear who is seeing evlo perma paakranga ha shiva paakrana hyderabad visible sir who oh garo is there ha huh? yeah hi garo how are you good morning good morning sir did you see that temporal sclerosis being elevated Yes, sir. That's why at the same time I message it. It is some mucosal disease. We should remove it before expanding our perforation. Yes, 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 yes. So that is the annulus. See here. When I just elevate like this, okay. See that. Then see, 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 see. That's a mucus layer. so that becomes an inlay that's all finished now i am coming here and you see that there's a little meningitis right can you see that clearly now what i have to do is to take off this margin here can you see here can you see that or not 
So I make a incision here, small incision. And then I'll remove all that meningitis. It's all meningitis because what happens is that that's mucosa which is grown. You don't want to retain that, right? See how nicely we are making that incision. Ah, now give me a scissors now. Can you see now clearly all of you? Hmm. Vishal. So all these steps you have to follow, boss. See that? Now how I am resecting it. See that? Now what I will do now is ah uh, give me a hockey i am now going below that layer see below this layer and i'm completely see that's the epithelial layer denuding all that of course i'm going to leave behind mucosa so no problem for me okay give me an elevator now gaurav Yes, sir. Are you watching, Gaurav? Yes. But then, there is some disturbance. They, it Where, auto, auto muted and auto unmuted, something like that. Give me plus two. Now, if you want to do uh, interlay, then the best instrument is a plus two. So see the annulus, see that annulus, can you see the annulus? So with, from the annulus, you just have to gently, see, see the mucosa there, can you see that? My dear friend, when you want to do interlay, it's the plester. If you want to do inlay, it is the hockey stick. Can you see the mucosa here or not? All of you. So this will prevent the evigration of mucosa and prevent mucosalization of the graft. You understand? That's the advantage of a interlay. Of course, inlay also we have been doing, you know that we have done thousands and thousands of inlay. Only thing is sometimes that 1% or maybe less than that, you might get a mucosalization and that also vanishes in due course if you give good treatment. But there are some people who advocate the annular excision. Of course, nothing is wrong. You have to follow whatever you are comfortable with and you are getting the result. If you are getting the result, follow it. I am getting a result in this. I am following it. That's it. Finished. As simple as that. Can you see? Can you see? My dear friends, can you see the mucosa here? Gaurav? Yes, sir. Oh, Palak. Wow, Palak. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. See, I was see. not able to unmute my mic. I don't know why. Ah, lovely. Oh, you couldn't die. Wait, unmute, man. No, no, I couldn't. My dear friend, do something. Palak is my <laughs> sweet child. <laughs> You can't make her mute. You can't mute her mic. How can you do that? <laughs> she has been for three years in Royal Pearl. Oh, give me now the hockey stick. Now you see here what has happened yes. now is I've, I've just separated the mucosal layer. See, if you go underneath the annulus, above the mucosal layer, it is, it is interlay. What man, Vishal, you will not answer also. Ah. You will not answer. Ah. You will not answer. Ah. Then why you are not answering? I only should shout. Ah. 
see how nice and beautiful it looks so take some time and you denude the malleus very very important and when you do best is use a sickle knife if you use a sickle knife no what happens you will denude all that mucosa so what is attached to the malleus is the fibrous layer yes sir understand yes. that many people think it is epithelium no no it is periosteum or malleus exactly exactly so some people are very fanatic about it they try to you know screw that and uh, ultimately dislodge the malleus don't do that huh? now i am just going to use the sickle knife see see how it's mobile huh? the malleus is mobile but it is just fibrous layer you don't have to be fanatic about it please understand but anyway give me a crocodile i am trying to remove that give 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 give, give quickly some people also nip the tip ஏ பிடிக்கல திருப்பி பண்ண நிப்பிங் ஆஃப் டிப் மைட் காஸ் சம் ஹியரிங் இம்பேர்மென்ட் இன் போஸ்ட் ஆப் இட் நதிங் பாஸ் நதிங் பாஸ் டிப் நோ 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 இட் வோன்ட் இட் வோன்ட் நதிங் வில் ஹேப்பன் பாஸ் ஐ அம் டெலிங் யூ வை வை ஐ நோ தட் ஆஸிகுலர் செயின் ரேஷியோ யூ ஆர் டாக்கிங் அபௌட் யா யா பட் பிலீவ் மீ தட் நிப் ஆன் ஆல் நோ பிராக்டிகலி இட் ஹஸ் நெவர் காஸ்ட் வி 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 ஹேவ் டன் இட் அண்ட் இன் ஃபேக்ட் டாக்டர் விஜயேந்திர சார் ஆல்சோ டஸ் இட் and yes, uh, mahadevya sir also has done it so yeah. these are all time tested ones don't go by some no that's all. that's why i have pointed that point yeah, yeah. that's a, they will talk about ossicular chain ratio boss yeah yeah liver is like ratio tip, and all this tip what it will do boss we need a near normal hearing boss that's all yes sir definitely will give better hearing and we'll get a uh, less than uh, 25 in this definitely you see the closure now then you will agree my dear gaurav i am so happy with you that you are attending all the uh, lives so sweet of you uh, palak yes sir palak yes sir yes Dr. sir dr gaurav is near you only man okay sir where gaurav yes sir you tell palak man palak is very uh, my friend 3 uh, years uh, she has been trained by me you tell where are you from uh, right now i am in patan kot palak okay okay yes sir yes sir where are you he is nearby he is nearby ah uh, that's what i told that's what i yes. told scissors see there's a little temporostrosis here can you see here yes sir enteral superiorly it's near the malleus huh? don't leave that huh? yes give me a uh, this one crocodile can you see the malleus clearly my dear friends yes sir palak dear y- yes sir i can see clearly i'm so happy to see you man <laughs> so even i'm so happy to attend this <laughs> luckily i didn't have any case so immediately i switched it on so sweet so so sweet okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to reposition this and see what is happening see uh, how beautiful it looks wow wonderful now what is the next step what is the next step you have to check the ossicular chain mobility you understand now what i will do is i'll tilt the patient towards me yen pakathirupuma and i will try to look at the round window this is the round window here can you see here that's the round window here yes or no now i'm moving the ossicle 
Can you see the round window reflex? Clearly seen. Yes, sir. See, again I'll move. I can see that reflex very clearly here. Here. Hmm. Now, give me the graph. So, we have done a interlay, classical interlay technique. And give me a good wash, my dear friend. Give me a good wash. Give me a good wash. So, there should not be any bone dust. Huh? There should not be any bone dust. See. Sikranda. Shiva Shiva. I'll show you an interesting case, Palak. Next case is very interesting. I'll show you very, very, very yes. nice case. Yes, sir. Very nice case. I'll show you. You will enjoy that case. Yeah. Ah. Give me a hockey stick, a smaller. Give me the graft. So we generally use the dry graft. And uh, the choice of using the graft is individual's choice. Ah. Now give me the so, uh, knife, 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 knife. So in this case, I'm going to do the fish out technique. Alak? Yes, sir. I'm doing fish the out fish. Te... Yeah, yes, fish sir. out. I'll put a small nick in the yes. graft and I'll leave the uh, malleus handle through it. You will see that. Now, this is the graft. See how thin the graft is. Just little shaping of the graft. Always keep the anterior part of the graft a little less broad than the posterior part of the graft. This is the first step. Second step is you just have to fold this graft like this. Lower power so that others can see. You fold the graph like this. See here, get my point, and then what you do is gently cut it here. Now, can you see that? What has happened now? Can you see the hole? All yes, of you? sir. So, that hole should go towards the malleus. Sir. That is called the fish out technique. Fish out technique. Get the fish out. What is the fish? The fish is the malleus handle. Now, see. Now, the first step is you just see if that is elevated. Little bone dust. It's always a pleasure to hear Palak's voice. Sir. How many years, man, you have worked so hard? Yes, sir, but I loved working over there. Lovely training. This kind of training we never get in any institute, sir. Can you see that hole now, all of you? See the hole. Huh? Now I go for higher power. Nalla Purchiko, Sakshana Purchiko. The main thing is how the assistant is holding the. See, see what I did. Did you see? It's yes, gone. sir. Yes, sir. The fish has gone inside.
Now, what you do is you try to bring that graph along the anti-retinol wall over the mucosal layer. See the mucosal layer. Can you see the mucosal layer there? Yes or no? So yes, that sir. means you will not grow, uh, have outgrowth of mucosa. Can you see? Clearly seen. So, this is placed between the fibrous layer and the mucosal layer. Uh, one more point, sir, while fishing that graft. Yes, my dear. Yeah, it should go beyond our lateral process of malleus whenever we are fishing that. Yes, correct. Absolutely, my dear friend. I will show you. Yeah. Beautiful. Now, the most important thing is to place that fibrous annulus over the bony annulus. Why? You don't want any kind of lateralization. Now give me a gel foam. Now I'm see, I'm pressing that fibrous annulus over the suction put lace out, lace out, lace out, lace out, lace out, lace out. See the graph has gone above the lateral process as doctor. Now, give me a small gel foam, my dear friend. Can you see how beautifully the graft is? Yes, sir. Now, you do what is called the rollover. See, I'm going to just going to do a rollover. The rollover actually is to, see, when you're doing the hotel, your uh, the carpet is being uh, cleaned. What happens? There is wrinkles. No, that and all you should remove. So, what happens is there is no wrinkle in that carpet. See now. Can you see, my dear friend? Wonderful, sir. Yes, sir. See, there is no wrinkle. It is sitting beautifully. It's similar what to ironing Dr. Gaurav? clothes. Hmm. Dr. Gaurav? Yes, sir. Did you see? Yes, sir. It's similar to ironing of clothes. <laughs> yeah, the ironing. Correct, correct. We, we used to use that word. Same way, you see here, many people place gel foam in the middle of the graph. Don't do that. Uh, yeah, no. It should be at the junction. It should be at the junction. Very, yeah. very important point. Don't just pour gel foam. Yeah. Never do that. See. You are creating a marriage. This is a marriage between the... Yes. Unmatched things. <laughs> <laughs> Flap <laughs> and the... the new graft. Correct. So we are also creating the suture line, right? Yes, that is otherwise I was just about to say and you have told it. That is Palak. We create what is called the primary suture line. So it's it's the suture line. See, that's the end of the surgery. And this part of the bone will be covered by the this this part of the canal. You understand? Shiva, did you understand or not? See this part will cover that part of the bone so that there is no raw, bo raw bone. Okay. So, I think I am done. I am going to come to face time. So, there are uh, various techniques, boss. I think this is what I have been propagating for ages now. Sometimes I do the interlay. Sometimes I do the inlay. But uh, I think both have given me good results provided your graph placement, your uh, 
the malleus, everything anchoring is very good. So I'm coming here to answer. Hey, give me the light on, please. I'm so happy that uh, some of the people who are not joined so far <laughs> have joined. That is Palak and uh, yeah, so sweet, so sweet. And uh, let us see what are the questions which I get. Uh, this will be on YouTube. Yeah, you can unmute. Uh, Palak, you want to ask any questions? But I've asked you millions of questions already. Okay. Anybody else? Arshad is there. Arshad Hussain is a nice, very nice autologist. I've seen his work. And uh, he practices the total annular excision. And uh, I think he can give some comments. There's some Sampada is asking question. Who? Who is asking? Palak? Hello. Yes, Dr. Arshad. Good Sir, morning. Yeah, very was good morning. Surgery. Very good morning. Intermittently, I watched your surgery. Ah. It was a wonderful uh, demonstration as usual. So, one small I... point I just wanted to comment. Yeah. When you open the mastoid antrum ah. and you flush saline, ah. it is always ideal to suction in the antrum side. Ah. Uh, sorry, on the middle side. Yes. What happens is sometimes if there is any fungus it or any inside. debris in the external rotary canal in the middle ear, it will come through the additus towards the antrum. So oh, always right. make it a point to suction the middle ear side, not from very, the antrum side. Very, very point. good point. Very good point. If you look at it, the last irrigation, if you, this is an unedited video, you see, yeah. I, I flushed from the antrum side and sucked in the middle ear side. If you are... Yeah. No, the, the, the first irrigation... I understand. The moment you open the antrum, yes. uh, section should always from the middle ear side. That's Absolutely. Only. Very, very good point. Well taken. Good, Thank you so much. good afternoon, sir. Who is it? My Dr. Goro. May I interrupt for this point in between? Yeah, you can come. Uh, you can come, boss. Uh, Dr. Arshad, sir. Yes. Uh, very nice. Yes, sir. Uh, good, uh, good afternoon, Arshad, sir. Good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, sir. Yeah. What we make as a rule before placing graft, I usually drain out everything and suck at the level of eustachian tube. Yeah, yeah. No, that is fine. Yeah. So the that is the, the antrum ultimate is open, drainage no? pathway. Yeah. The moment the antrum is open, the tendency is to put the suction into the antrum. Yeah. Where they should be putting the suction into the external artery canal so that you know yes. you do not pull yes. out anything that, from the canal. That's, that, that's why before placing uh, graft, uh, whatever uh, drainage or whatever cleaning we do, we put suction at the entry end, means but where the eustachian tube exit is there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, yeah, sir. so the one thing I want to tell you is that before you do the. Hey, mute, mute man, mute man. What is Who is shouting? So, before you actually uh, first stage, where is mute? Ramesh, mute. okay. Now, before you see each stage, I have divided it into five stages. So, end of stage one, graft is out. End of gray, uh, stage two, the uh, exposure is complete. Before the third stage, if you have looked at my video, irritating me. If I look, at, if you look at the video, stage three begins with fanatic irrigation. I call it fanatic irrigation. So before even I open up the middle ear, you keep on irrigating, 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 irrigating. That way, what happens is the external canal depress, external canal uh, fungus, whatever is there, is completely cleaned. This is what I say before the stage 3. That is, before going in for the cortical, you can see this video. Stage 1, end, end means graft should be out. Stage 2, end means exposure should be there. Stage 3, beginning. See, even stage 2, beginning is left hand, pull the pinna downwards and forwards. This is the beginning. The end is, you should see the middle ear. So, I mean, uh, the, the, the canal. Beginning of the stage 3 is always fanatically irrigate. This is the point. All these points have been properly tagged by me. 
the beginning of the third stage and ending of the sta third stage. What is the ending of the third stage? You have to see that there is drainage. So this is, uh, see, these are all protocolized ones. Of course, if you look at the video again and again, you will understand these fine points, which Dr. Ashrath also nicely stressed. So when you yes, open sir. the, so his, maybe the stage in which he says is stage three end, you, you suck from the middle ear. So all these, if you have point by point protocolization, it becomes easy. So this is what I always believe. So how the beginning of a stage have the end of the stage. So for example, the last stage ending, you, the gel foam is placed nicely over the tympanic annulus so that the fibrous annulus goes on. So this is everything will have a beginning and end. So for the juniors, it will become easy, which is the start of the stage, which is the end of the stage. That's why I always say fragment your surgery into many steps. Graph means 10 steps. I have already told 10 steps to graph taking. 6 steps to exposure. What are the 6 steps you should write down? These steps should be followed. This is what I always teach for you. And this very good point, fungus should not enter. It is already tackled in the beginning of the third stage. Nicely irrigate, 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 irrigate till everything comes out. Then only you start the cortical. Am I, am I right, uh, Dr. Ashadji? Uh, you have to unmute. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Unmute. Unmute Dr. Ashraji. Ashraji, I think, is seeing patient. He is a busy practitioner in Bangalore. Yes, sir. Okay. Anyway. Right. I think I will come back to you with another case. Uh, oh, Dr. Shamji, my godfather of Hyderabad, please come. I want to see you. Dr. Shamji. Come, come. Oh, lovely, lovely, my dear godfather. Hey, uh, Palak, he is my godfather in Hyderabad. Yeah, Dr. Shamji, unmute and talk. Unmute, Dr. Shamji. Good morning. Very nice demonstration. Very nice tips. It is lovely that morning, early morning, people are taking, uh, taking away some good uh, information from you. And uh, they will incorporate in their practice uh, for uh, better results and better uh, care of the patients. But very I nice. know this, this uh, time is not a correct time because everybody is seeing OPD, everybody is, uh, you know, operating and all. But, but if, someone wants to, if someone wants to learn, the time is not a factor. Yeah, but it will be there on YouTube, they can see. But this yeah, personal interaction, for example, Dr. Ashadji came inside, he asked like that. Personal interaction means they should see. It's very nice. Next Janki, one, piece, one, yes. ah. one piece of advice ah. for the benefit of the fresh uh, postgraduates. Ah. I think uh, you should have a session on uh, sessions on uh, anatomical aspects, uh, detailed anatomy of the ear, nose, and throat, something like that. Sir, I did temper bone dissection, sir. No, no, no. Yes, Even the pictorial, uh, I, mean, I don't know if you can uh, recollect uh, that Govind Rajan, some uh, Dean Dayal and Govind, Govind Rajan is there, na? He, 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 uh, pictorial drawings is very nice in that uh, anatomical. Oh, okay. Dean Dayal and Govind Rajan, you are uh, from Chennai, I think so. He, yeah, yeah. Maybe he is in, uh, in teaching. Dean Dayal sir is in Hyderabad only, sir. Dean Dayal and Govind Rajan. Full name. I never heard. Ah, the Vijay Govind Rajan. Yeah, Vijay. Yeah, Vijay he is Govind. very yeah. famous for hand model. He will tell everything in the hand itself. Yes, Larynx. Yes, yes. Uh, this is like this, cochlea, like this. Yeah. Very facial now. <laughs> okay, you want this class, is it? I'll do that. No, no, no. They, 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 young, youngsters, they will get a lot of benefit. On ah, I will I will ask him to do one class. No problem. Because nowadays, ah. uh, in, uh, none of the, the colleges, there is the proper teaching is there. So, okay, okay. many of them, they don't know proper anatomy. I will do that. I will do one class with him. Sure. Okay. Arshad ji, you want to talk about uh, annual excision? You can tell me. We will arrange for one session in our YouTube. You, you are a specialist in that uh, total TAE, total annular excision. I know. So if you want uh, one, I mean, I mean, the sense is just a request. See if you can have time and you can do that. You are muted completely. It's okay. You are busy seeing patient. 
Okay, so see you with the next case. I will uh, bring a beautiful case. This case from Bangalore only. Arshad ji is there only. And I will tell you what are all the things which went through this patient and he is now here. But actually, I only operated this case 10 years back. 10 years back, I operated. Patient went off to Bangalore. And what happened in Bangalore is a big story. I will tell you and we will start that case after this case.